Finally, we're going to look at formatting sheets so that we can print them out easily or view them how we want to display them. Let's go back to our original data and let's copy everything by highlighting the boxes instead of just the columns. We'll copy it. Let's make a new sheet. And then in this upper left box, we're going to have it ascend down the rows instead of down the columns. And we're going to do that by going to this paste box and we're going to paste transpose. You can see it opens up like this. Now this is kind of hard to read on the words so let's go ahead and rotate it. We can right click on this, go to format cells, and then inside of the alignment tab we can rotate it 90 degrees here. Go ahead and hit OK. Another thing that we can do is we can resize everything. Um, so let's go up to here and go to column width. Let's enter 2.71. Hit OK. And this will make it much easier to read. Let's go ahead and put thin borders around everything. You can do that by going up here and there's a whole slew of op options. And let's just go all borders and use the thin ones. So we can separate it like that. Um, and then in here, let's, uh, let's add a date and time to this. So I'll go ahead and put this in as 9-27-2010. Add a space, and we'll say this is 7:46 p.m. Oops, sorry. 7:46 p.m. Hit enter. And if we right-click this, we can go to Format Cells, and then the Number tab. We can specify how we want this displayed. So let's go up to this type, and let's delete it and enter d d d d comma m m m m space d d comma y y y then hours right, hours colon minutes space a m slash p m and up above it'll give us a sample of what this is going to look like. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Now the interesting about this is that Excel does not treat this as a word. It actually treats this as a number so if we copy this all the way down you will notice that it actually ascends it so we can put these into formulas if we need to. And that's how we can do all kinds of formatting so that we can display our data how we want.